Hello, kiddo. This is Mr. B, and this is the asynchronous lecture for week nine and the how to, the tutorial for this week's artwork that you will produce. Now, in GarageBand, we're manufacturing, producing things in 6.8, uh, and that's really only because of a limitation of GarageBand doesn't give us the opportunity to work in 6.4, only 3.4. Um, in this case, I've written it this way. It's not right or wrong. There's a variety of different ways of doing things, but this will help us perform this properly this week with the limitation that's there in GarageBand. So the things that you want to attend to this week, uh, major, uh, major sixth, not six, but sixth, major sixth, week nine. And at the top here, you're going to write the notes G, E, and C were the interval signal for NBC radio. In 1950, the U.S., United States Patent and Trademark Office made this the first purely audio service mark, M-A-R-K, mark. Um, you're going to draw a staff, a single staff. If you had more of them, they'd be staves. This is the treble clef. That has one F, and we're going to draw the treble symbol again. This is where we know that it's a quarter note that gets the beat. That's what a quarter note looks like. And we get 40 of them this time uh, as our BPM. Now, it's really kind of fudging with things a little bit because in GarageBand, we're going to use eighth notes and 40. Uh, just kind of go along with it here in this case. Um, six, four is our time. Uh, and the reason why this is important is because there's six beats, and you can see I've got them like numbered down here in your drawing for one, two, three, four, five, six. So when you're playing it, it's G, E, C. And a quarter note is uh, one half of a half note. There's two quarter notes in a half note. This is one quarter note. There are two quarter notes inside here. It's why it's a half note and it's it's solid. It's not solid, but has a hole through it. If we had the same note and it did not have a stem on it, it would be by itself. It would have gotten all four of uh, all four beats in a sense. And this measure takes six beats, which is why we get six here. Again, we're making a few little notes. We're going to need ledger lines this week, and we're going to be drawing on the G the E and the C, and then we're going to also draw our pitch space class wheel, making sure we attend to it being ascending in this direction. Um, and then this is our M6 is what that says. That's a capital M and a 6, showing this that the interval between the G and the E is, in fact, what is our major 6 this week. So in drawing this work, we're going to say, Week nine, major sixth, and you're saying that the notes G, E, and C were the interval signal, and you're going to underline that, uh, interval signal for NBC Radio. In 1950, the United States Patent and Trademark Office made this the first purely audio, and those quotes are from Wikipedia service mark. And for those of you who uh, may feel patriotic, certainly look at our economy and what it means to have a service mark versus a trademark versus a patent. Uh, they're all really important things with respect to our tradition of making things. Um, here we are. We're going to draw our staff. S-T-A-F-F. If you have two staves, they are staves, S-T-A-V-E-S. -E and we are right now focused on the treble clef, that's one F. When we draw down the treble clef, we come right down here to our middle C, remembering that this is in fact middle C. Right here, if that's C, 
We know that if that's C, this is D, this is E, this is F, and this is G. So this is our G clef. And we're going to end right there at our little button. And again, uh, a little bit of a compromise, but we're just going to call this week 6-4. And we're going to say up here that the quarter note is going to get our beat. And we're going to say that there are 40 beats per minute. Now you're going to draw three ledger lines right away here. And then you're going to draw a total of three ledger lines going across. You're going to put your end of line for this whole deal right here. That's what that symbol is, end of line. Kind of like uh, Tron, end of line. Down here is our G. That's G2 uh, in the iPad. Here is our E. And here is our middle C. You're going to want to make sure that this note is solidified. And we're going to put some stems on the rest of them. And we're going to put a little dot right here. And that dot is going to extend the value of this. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six. This note, as a half note, is equal to two quarter notes. So there's two quarter notes in here, one quarter note in here. There's two quarter notes in here, and that little dot kind of tells you, hey, there's another quarter note in there. There's really three. This extends the value of the note before it by one half of its value. That's what that dot means, okay? As we start getting into nomenclature a little bit, traditional nomenclature. Uh, again, in our counting, uh, we're going to go through this, and it's going to be one, two, uh, three, and then four, five, six is how you're going to count that out. And again, on your iPad, this is C3 on the iPad. So you find that reference. On the iPad, this is going to be G2. On the iPad, this is going to be E3 on the iPad. Okay, All these things to help you find where you're going to be at this week. This interval here This little deal, Boop. that's the shape I kind of wanted. That's more it. Is our major six. The distance between this G and this E is a major six. And now you're going to draw your pitch base uh, class wheel. So kind of a decent circle. And then you're going to mark things off as usual, just like you would with a clock face. And our song is starting, our little uh, piece here is starting in G. So we're going to start G up here. And then G sharp. A, A sharp. B, C, C sharp. D, D sharp. E, F, F sharp. And what we're going to end up is over here at this E. So this interval this week, the major six is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine half steps. It is nine half steps. So a major sixth is nine half steps. And you're going to put your name in there. And then your period. It's a period one this time. I usually do the static image period five, and I use the dynamic image period one. And I believe that is everything you need to do for the physical artwork for week nine. And again, this is not due until next week, Monday. Today is February 1st.